It just makes your lashes look really long. Oops, how unprofessional. Do as I say, not as I do. and welcome back today I thought I would do my morning routine with you it's going to take under 10 minutes I think I haven't actually timed it but it'll be a skincare routine that I do in the morning followed by a quick everyday makeup tutorial ready let's go to start I uh, wash my face I use this CeraVe, CeraVe, CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I have pretty dry skin, so everything that I use is hydrating. So I've been using this like forever, forever, forever. I've used other like fancier ones, like more expensive non-drugstore ones, and I just keep coming back to this, so uh, we'll start with that. So I always like wash in a circular motion. I kind of give myself a little like massage, I guess. Like wake up my skin. I also, bonus, look like a squirrel. <laughs> or a chipmunk, which always kind of makes me laugh. That's good to start your day with laughing. Ow! I just kicked the door. Okay, so now that we have washed our face, feeling clean and fresh, um, the next thing I do is I use a toner. I have a different toner for the morning and evening. For the morning, I use this NARS Skin Multi-Action Hydrating Toner. I just put one pump, it says two to three, but I definitely don't need that much. I just put like a little bit in my palm. Y'all know how to apply toner, right? The reason I like this toner is because I found it to be the least drying toner. It also smells really good. Also, this bottle has lasted me like forever, so that's a perk too. Next, we do the um, Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum with peach extract and peptide complex. Sure, um, but it just kind of gives you this like really glassy, transparent, poreless, dewy, all other like fantastic adjectives <laughs> um, complexion. And I have kind of like small lines up here because I'm very expressive. And I feel like it just kind of gets rid of those and it makes my skin look very luminous. Okay, next we have a two-step product thing. Gosh, I don't know what to call this. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, anyway, two steps by Coco Kind. It's a pore refining concentrate. And then second, we have a texture smoothing cream. Both have um, celery, super seed complex. It's just like a little rolly ball and you just kind of roll it all over your skin, waking up the skin so you can see that I am all woken up. Okay, I love this because it smells like celery. <laughs> I know it's kind of a weird thing, but I love like fresh smelling things. So I love that after this, I just walk around feeling like a celery stick and that's just great for me. So my morning routine, I do not like to wear anything on my face because when I'm working, I feel like they just put so much makeup on us and I like to let my skin breathe if I'm not filming. And so the reason I do such an extended morning routine is so that I don't have to put any like foundation on and I can just let my skin breathe. The final, final, final step is of course sunscreen. Always, always, always wear sunscreen. I can hear my mom's voice in this ear and I can hear my friend's voice who's a dermatologist in this ear, but it's so, so important to always protect your face with sunscreen. This is the sunscreen that I'm using right now. Mobin Therapy UV Sun Shield. I just started using this sunscreen and to be honest, I am not a huge fan. It has this like really strong floral scent, which I'm not a fan of. So if you guys have recommendations for sunscreen that will not make me smell like potpourri, Okay, so that um, skincare routine has left us with a very dewy palette. I do use a little bit of cover-up. This is by 
NARS. I am a medium 1.5 macadamia. So basically any spots that um, just have like a little bit of redness or discoloration, I just put a little concealer on and that's it. I don't like to wear eyeliner or eyeshadow or anything, but I do like to wear a little bit of eyeshadow as eyeliner. So I use an angled brush. I'm using this purple one today and then I just kind of like rub it into my lash line. It just kind of accentuates your lash line. I'm all about like lashes. Sometimes I'll like wing it a little bit, but like that's a 10 minute tutorial. We don't have time for that. Okay, so next, lashes. I always, always, always curl my lashes because I'm Asian and so my lashes just go straight down. Every time I um, get my makeup done for work, the makeup artist always curls my lashes and then is like, oh girl, you got lashes. Who knew? You really can't tell unless you curl them. So this eyelash curler is my best friend. I've been using the Glossier Lash Slick. I know it's like millennial product, but yo, for real guys, this really works. I'm normally like a drugstore mascara girl, but this mascara is like 20 bucks, but it does the job. I like it because it makes them look longer, but not like super spidery. And then the wand is like really good at separating your lashes so it makes them look fuller and longer which is what we're going for am i right do you girl okay poor boy now we've got our lashes feeling good and the last step is um eyebrows so when i was younger in like the early 2000s or whatever we really over plucked our eyebrows. I feel like I'm still kind of coming back from that. Anyone else relate? And I just like to fill it in with like a really thin pencil. This one happens to be from Il Maquillage, but honestly, I'm not picky. I just pick something that is a little lighter than my eyebrow hers. And I just, uh, yeah, just kind of go in there freehand. Go all crazy with it. There's like probably a better technique to this to be honest, but Ain't nobody got time, you know? Sometimes if I've gone like a little cray cray, I just take a little um, like a little spoolie and brush through like the chunky bits because we don't want it to look like an eyebrow has been painted on. Um, or at least I don't want to. If that's what you like, you go for it. I'm not stopping you. And then to finish our brow, I use the Glossier Boy Brow. I use it in black, but I think that's like a little crazy sometimes. So the next time I'm going to switch to brown. I mean, we like a strong brow, but sometimes black is a little aggressive. You know what I mean? We just want the brows to be there, but we don't need them to like tell the whole face's story. At least not every day. At this point, I would usually just put on some chapstick and run, but sometimes if I'm I don't know, going to see people, which I'm not right now because COVID. Um, I also like to do a little bit of a blush. This is the cream blush that I've been using. It's like the fanciest thing I have, but it's great and it lasts forever. It's by Chanel, blush number 23, Le Beige. I don't know if that's the color. I don't know if that's like, I don't know what it is, but it's their cream blush. I guess you can use this on like your lips and stuff too, but whatever. I just do like a little circle. that's it so there you have it in under 10 minutes makeup skincare getting ready in the morning beauty routine and it can start you on your day no matter what you're doing feeling fresh feeling vibrant feeling like yourself <laughs> I don't really know I didn't plan out this outro very well but I hope this was fun and informative for you if you have any questions or anything else you'd like to see please leave it in the comments below like subscribe, share, etc, etc. You know how this works. It's YouTube. And I will see you guys next week with another video. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. Love you guys. Bye.